I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. A bombshell report has just dropped by ProPublica, which shows that the right-wing extremist Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, who's been responsible for some of the most horrific decisions taking away the rights of Americans and particularly the right of a woman to control her body, that Justice Thomas has been receiving millions of dollars in lavish gifts from a far-right-wing millionaire donor named Harlan Crow, which Clarence Thomas was not reporting on his judicial disclosure forms as he was required to do by law. In other words, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, the right-wing extremist judge, has been engaged in a more than two-decade-long crime scheme of receiving these lavish gifts uh, in addition to engaging in horrific and heinous unethical conduct. And so this ProPublica article begins by talking about a trip that Justice Thomas took in 2019, where he went island hopping with Harlan Crow in Indonesia. And there are photographs. I mean, ProPublica has got its receipts. And the way ProPublica did this incredible research, since Justice Clarence Thomas did not disclose it, as he was required to do by law, they ingeniously, they got records from the Secret Service, because when the Secret Service travels, those records are public when they travel with him. They got records from the employees at the yacht that uh, transported um, Clarence Thomas from the uh, plane manifest. So they pieced this all together, um, and Harlan Crow even issued a statement, um, again, denying that influence uh, of any sort took place. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll read you Harlan Crow's statement, but this reporting is firm. So going back to this 2019 trip in Indonesia, just take this one trip, for example. Justice Thomas was taken there in a private jet, a bombardier Global 5000. Um, he then went on Harlan Crow's yacht to do the island hopping. Here, there, here are the photographs of uh, this trip. Um, this trip alone would have cost Clarence Thomas $500,000. So a $500,000 gift alone in just 2019 from this Harlan Crow to Justice Clarence Thomas. And then for over two decades, Clarence Thomas has essentially had a luxury lifestyle subsidized by this right-wing donor, Harlan Crow. For example, uh, ProPublica points out that they went to Bohemian Grove together, which is described as an exclusive all-male retreat in California. They would travel to Harlan Crow's East Texas Ranch. Every single summer, Clarence Thomas would stay uh, for over a week and sometimes weeks at a private resort for free owned by Harlan Crow in the Adirondacks in New York, uh, something called Camp Top Ridge. And look, there's even a painting when you go into Camp Top Ridge. And look who's in that painting. That is Justice Clarence Thomas. That is Harlan Crow. Who else is in that painting? Oh, that's Leonard Leo, the uh, main donor and the leader of the Federalist Society is in that photo. Oh, who else is in that photo? Oh, is that Mark Poletta in the photo? Yeah, that's Mark Poletta, who was the former general counsel for the Office of uh, Budget Management, Office of Management and Budget within the Trump administration. And Poletta's basically served as the PR flack, if you will, for Clarence Thomas and for the Supreme Court saying that the Supreme Court should be immunized from any ethics rules and from and from further ethics disclosures, that they should have their own rules in and of themselves without uh, any further uh, oversight being conducted of them. How ironic that Poletta is in that photo. Folks, the corruption here runs deep. It runs deep. Look, um, from an ethical standpoint, federal judges um, are guided by ethical rules which say even the appearance of impropriety 
uh, would be unethical if you continued to be on a case where there's an appearance of impropriety. Um, taking gifts would be an appearance of impropriety that would taint your judicial temperament and your ability to render objective uh, decisions. But guess what? Those ethical rules, they don't apply to the Supreme Court. Why? Because the right-wing Supreme Court justices led by John Roberts don't want them to apply to them. However, there is still criminal law that would apply and you can't make false statements on federal disclosure. So let's pull up the disclosure, for example. So here's a disclosure in 2017 when uh, Justice Thomas would have received lots of gifts from uh, this uh, right-wing donor, Harlan Crow. If you go to the gifts section, you'll see, oh, look, there's no gifts report. And that's the same thing that you will basically see each and every year that Justice Thomas did not disclose any of these gifts. And we're talking about millions and millions of dollars. Like I showed you in 2019 alone, in 2019 alone, 500,000 on that one trip. And then there's uh, plane records and Secret Service records, which indicate that uh, this Bombardier 5000, this private jet uh, by Harlan Crow, would just like pick Justice Thomas up for day trips. They'd pick him up at Dulles Airport and they'd bring him even to even for short trips. Like there's one instance that the article mentions there was a trip to New Haven, Connecticut, a three hour trip. I mean, he could have just taken public transportation. He could have taken a train there like most people do. No, but he took a private jet. That trip alone using that jet from publicly available data, just that one trip, was a gift of $70,000 that Justice Thomas did not disclose. And he would regularly take that trip. He'd regularly take those gifts to go on trips. So, oh, he wanted to be there for the swearing-in ceremony of one of those Trump judges when Trump was in office. Call up Harlan Crow, take that Bombardier 5000, and you would see the patterns of the, uh, the flight patterns go to Dulles. It would go to, you know, Dallas, for example, for a swearing in ceremony. And then it would go back to Dulles, uh, you know, essentially in the same day. And folks, we're talking about 70,000, 100,000 for each of these private jet trips. So, and the article then, uh, the article describes uh, how Justice Thomas has always tried to you know, I'm just a humble guy. I'm I'm just very, very humble. Uh, Justice Thomas would say, this was an actual quote from Justice Thomas, not in response to this article. Justice Thomas didn't respond. Um, but Thomas previously had said things like, I don't have any problem with going to Europe, but I prefer the good old United States. You know, you know, seeing the regular parts. I prefer RV parks and Walmart parking lots. Uh, to beaches and things like that. I don't really like beaches and things like that. Um, you know, there's something normal about it. I come from regular stock. I prefer being around it. You know, one of the great things that ProPublica also did in its report is they found these photographs of Clarence Thomas where uh, every time they would go on these trips uh, with Harlan Crow, these luxurious, elaborate, trips where they would stay on this super yacht with staff and private chefs. Uh, it was so elaborate that Harlan Crow would make like polo shirts commemorating each of the trips. So there would be like a, 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 a shirt that had the yacht on it. And by the, the yacht was called the Michaela the Michaela yacht. Um, and then each of these polo shirts would have like the year of the trip. So it'd be like 2019, Indonesia, 2007, the Greek islands. And he wear those shirts out and about. And so ProPublica here, pull up this one. I think this one is the Greek islands from 2007. So ProPublica was able to find the different shirts that he was wearing where he, you could see the yacht on the shirt if you zoom in. And you see all of the uh, trips that he that he went on there. Yeah, and, and they got the photographic proof. Like we showed you here are the photos from uh, Indonesia. You have the painting at Top Ridge, the exclusive camp in the Adirondacks where every summer Clarence Thomas would uh, would, would, would 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 be at. Um, you know, and and so much more. Let me read you though right now. This is uh, the statement. 
by Harlan Crow. Harlan Crow says, in response to this article, my wife Kathy and I, we've been friends with Justice Thomas and his wife Ginny since 1996. We're very dear friends. The hospitality we have extended to the Thomases over the years is no different from the hospitality we have extended to our many other dear friends. We have been most fortunate to have a great life of many friends and financial success, and we have always placed a priority on spending time with our family and friends. Justice Thomas and Ginny never asked for any of this hospitality. We have never asked about a pending lower court case, and Justice Thomas has never discussed one, and we have never sought to influence Justice Thomas on any legal or political issue. More generally, I am unaware of any of our friends ever lobbying or seeking to influence Justice Thomas on any case, and I would never invite anyone who I believe had any intention of doing that. These are gatherings of friends. Oh, gatherings of friends. I call BS because on a 2017, well, I call BS in general, but I'll give you just an example from ProPublica. In a 2017 uh, trip where Thomas went to Camp uh, Top Ridge in the Adirondacks, there were executives from Verizon, Price Waterhouse Coopers um, and the right wing GOP think tank American Enterprise Institute was there. Not to mention there is a freaking painting of Leonard Leo, the leader of the Federalist Society, and Mark Poletta, who is trying to insulate the Supreme Court from making further uh, ethical disclosures and financial disclosures. There's a painting of them on the wall when you go into Camp Topridge. So completely and utterly insane. And none of that was disclosed. And you, you may remember some of our other reporting here on the uh, Midas Touch Network. Do you remember uh, there was a Supreme Court whistleblower named Reverend Rob Shank. And for over two decades, he ran what's called Faith and Action, um, which was a very far right wing group um, that was, you know, anti abortion, criminalizing a woman's right to control her body, and pushed the Supreme Court, one of the major groups pushing the Supreme Court, to overturn Roe v. Wade. Well, Rev Reverend Rob Shank. Uh, became a whistleblower and basically felt bad that he had done what he did, what he did. And so he spoke before the Judiciary Committee before the right-wing Republicans started holding their hearings. This was when the Democrats were fully in control. Um, before the right-wing Republicans started holding hearings on Hunter Biden's nude photographs on his laptops. Do you remember what Reverend Rob Shank said? I'll, I'll show you just a brief portion of the report we did on Reverend Rob Shank from Faith in Action talking about how he would influence Supreme Court justices like Justice Alito, for example, um, to ch make decisions that would be favorable uh, to right-wing causes, and then how he says that even some of the very wealthy donors would get first looks, would get insights into what the rulings were going to be before they took place. Here, play this clip of the testimony of Reverend Rob Shank. Play it. Higher Court involved my recruitment of wealthy donors as stealth missionaries who befriended justices that shared our conservative social and religious sensibilities. In this way, I aimed to show these justices that Americans supported them and thanked God for their presence on the court and the opinions they rendered. Our overarching goals were to gain insights into the conservative justices' thinking and to shore up their resolve to render solid, unapologetic opinions, particularly against abortion. I called this our ministry of emboldenment. So there you have it, folks. Let me be very clear. The lawlessness of Justice Clarence Thomas knows no bounds, okay? And, and I don't want to sugarcoat this. You know, here at the Midas Touch Network, we say it like it is, right? There is no BS, you know, we're not just trying to sugarcoat things. Justice Clarence Thomas is a criminal. He's a criminal. He had a legal obligation to disclose these gifts. By law, he had to disclose them. You see the forms. You can't lie on federal forms. He did not disclose them. 
That means he is a criminal, not merely unethical, very unethical person, but a criminal. And I want to thank ProPublica for their incredible, incredible reporting here. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers thanks to your support. So please hit subscribe. Also, check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Midas Touch. That helps fund this independent platform. We are not funded by any outside investors. And also, Wherever you get your podcast, just search Midas Touch Podcast and check us out there. Until next time, I'm Ben Micellis. Hit subscribe. It's free on our YouTube. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged. You're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.